Let's tackle question 2, part A1. Given that a squared plus b squared is equal to 14ab, we want to prove that the natural log of a plus b on 4 is equal to a half times the natural log of a plus the natural log of b. You can sit and stare at the problem all you want, but it's difficult to start with what we're given and derive the result we want to prove. However, it seems like we can make some headway if we instead try to simplify what we want to prove. So starting there, we get the following derivation. We can multiply both sides by 2 to get 2 times the natural log of a plus b on 4 equal to the natural log of a plus the natural log of b. Since n times the log of b to the base a is equal to the log of b to the n to the base a, it follows that 2 times the natural log of a plus b on 4 is equal to the natural log of a plus b on 4 all squared. Now, a plus b on 4 all squared, we can use the result that a on b all squared is equal to a squared over b squared to get the natural log of a plus b squared over 16 is equal to the natural log of a plus the natural log of b. Since the log of b to the base a plus the log of c to the base a is equal to the log of bc to the base a, it follows that the natural log of a plus the natural log of b is equal to the natural log of a times b. We can subtract the natural log of a, b from both sides to get that the natural log of a plus b squared on 16 minus the natural log of a, b is equal to 0. There's a law of logarithms that tells us that the log of b to the base a minus the log of c to the base a is equal to the log of b divided by c to the base a. So using that result, we get that um, the natural log of a plus b all squared on 16 divided by a b is equal to 0. We can simplify that to get that the natural log of a plus b all squared on 16 a b is equal to 0. By the definition of logarithms, we know that the we know that the log of b to the base a equals 0 if and only if b is equal to a to the 0. That's by the definition of logarithms. And we know that a raised to the power of 0 is equal to the 1 for any valid number a. Therefore, we can conclude that a plus b squared on 16ab is equal to 1. From here, it's just um, some basic algebraic manipulation. So we multiply both sides by 16ab to get a plus b all squared equals 16ab. a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Um, we subtract 2ab from both sides to get a squared plus b squared equals 14ab. But, <coughs> but this is the result that we were given. So we were able to show through a series of deductions that the result we want to prove can derive what we want, um, what we, what we're given. Now, since each step of the derivation is logically equivalent to the next step, it follows that we can simply reverse the steps. Therefore, starting with what we're given, we'd be able to get to the desired result. This completes the proof. And that's it. Hey guys, Dwayne here. If you're a Caribbean student struggling with Cape Piermat and you need extra help, then go to this link to join my free study group. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.